what's going on lovely people it is i your sister from another mr thrifting thick chick and today as you can see from the title of this video we are going to be discussing something that people want to know all of the time first and foremost people want to know how i clean my thrifted clothes i'm going to be brutally honest with you guys me personally this is only me i actually um all my thrifted clothes i wash them separately from my other clothes it may not make a big difference to some people but for me personally i actually wash all of my thrifted clothes separately from other clothes and i wash it with arm and hammer uh baking soda uh laundry detergent that is what i wash my thrifted clothes with i mean i even wash a lot of times when i get brand new clothes i wash them as well because you get people who try those clothes on as well a lot of people may not do that but i also wash my um clothes that i buy out of the um store brand new sometimes i don't do it all the time but i do do it sometimes okay now as far as cleaning shoes i also get this question a lot as well how do you clean your thrifted shoes i'm going to be honest with you guys again if you are a person who is a uh, a real bad germaphobe or something like that the first thing that i would say is it's probably not best for you to go thrifting it's, it's just probably not best for you to go thrifting because these are used clothes these are things that people have used previously now i wouldn't advise anybody to go in there and buy any undergarments i don't go in there and i don't buy undergarments panties and bras and things that i don't buy that stuff i, I mean if other people feel the need to go and buy underwear and bras and things like that out of the thrift store that is your prerogative me personally i choose to stick with the clothes and the shoes part of um you know the thrifting i don't even buy sheets and uh, comforters out of the thrift store i will buy sheets and comforters out of dirt cheap which is also a con it's like a, a discounted store everything in the dirt cheap is brand new though but i'm going to show you guys really really quickly how i clean my thrifted shoes and you guys when i tell you it is it is so easy i mean it's you don't have to throw some thrifted shoes in the washing machine or anything like that you you just don't have to do those types of things all you need when you are cleaning your thrifted shoes is some of these disinfectant wipes that 99% um, uh, uh, kills 99% of germs and bacteria and some alcohol. That is really all that you need when you are cleaning your thrifted shoes. I promise you. These are the only two things that you need. What you're going to do is I'm going to just basically just low key kind of demonstrate this to you guys. All you're going to do is you're going to take one of your disinfectant wipes. Like I said, this is Lysol as you can see. The Lysol disinfecting wipes. And these are some shoes that I thrifted a while back. I think I showed you guys these um, shoes in a haul or something a little bit a little while back. Um, but I have worn these, but I'm gonna, you know, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you guys all that you have to do when you are disinfecting thrifted shoes. Now, this even goes for the shoes that have the cloth in the bottom of them. You could always lay them out. You don't want to do this if you're gonna be wearing them five minutes from now, you know. You might want to make sure you do it when you have time to let them air dry. All you're going to do is you're going to take your disinfected wipe and you're just going to wipe the inside of the shoes out. This kills 99.9% .9 of all germs, okay? You're going to make sure you get in there by the toe area up there. Of course, I can't show you guys, but you see what I'm doing. Just get in there really close by the toe area and just wipe around inside of the shoe. to where you're cleaning it out. And it removes all dirt and things like that. It's not really dirty because I've already cleaned these. Um, because I have worn them before and these are kind of a cloth leather material and it really doesn't matter if it's cloth or leather or anything like that it really doesn't because you, you're going to let it air dry and plus your, your the sole of your feet is on the bottom of the shoe so it really don't matter if you fade it or not but you're going to wipe it out like this really really good okay wipe it out really really good and what I do, even though that is good enough, for real, that is honestly and truly good enough. Now, you can also, sometimes what I do if the shoe is really, really filthy, what I do is I get some soap and water. I don't have that here um, because I really, you know, I didn't want to go all out. But what you also can do, you can take some soapy water and you can put just a little bit, like a cap full of Clorox in it. And you can also use that to clean out the soles of your shoes. Now, just true. What, what you need to do when you get the soap in the water, just try your best not to get it on the outside of the shoe because you don't want to damage, you know, the outside of your shoe or whatever. So you just get a little bit of soap and water and you can also clean it out as like that as well. Now, sometimes also what I do in conjunction with the disinfectant wipe, I also take some 
I'm just going to pretend that I'm doing this. I take some alcohol and I pour it onto a paper towel. And I also, behind the Clorox wipe, the disinfectant wipe, I also take a paper towel with Clorox on it. I'm sorry, with uh, alcohol on it. And I actually clean inside of the shoe as well. And, you know, with the conjunction, in conjunction with the soap and water with a little bit of Clorox. And I sit the shoes wherever. It can be near a window or you can sit them in front of a fan or anything like that and just let the shoes air dry. That's all that you have to do. It's not going to damage the shoes. As you can see, and that right there has a little bit of Clorox in it. As you can see, it did not fade the shoe. You, Of course, the only time you'll fade it is if you're going to get a big bucket of Clorox and try to pour it inside of the shoe. That is what fades your shoes. So like I said, just be careful when you're using the Clorox. But um, the shoes will be perfectly fine if you're just losing, using some Clorox wipes or something like that. And as you can see, the shoes are perfectly fine. They're clean. You just let them air dry and you're free to rock them, girl. Now, like I said, I, I, I try not to get shoes that are too damaged in the thrift store. But you can always clean shoes up and have them looking, um, looking better. Even if they're kind of damaged on the outside, there are ways to clean them like that as well. Um, and I will later on in a future video, I'll probably show you guys how to clean shoes on the outside if they have like stuffs and things on them. I'll do that. But for right now, I just wanted to show you guys who asked how to disinfect your shoes, how to disinfect them. So shout out to you guys for these video ideas. I really, really do appreciate it. I hope that this helped and um, I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.